What's up everybody, welcome back to the journal. I just wanted to do a quick entry today to uh, kind of go over some things that I've been covering a lot of already, and that is basically turtles or tortoises and what they're doing while they're in brumation. This spotted turtle that we just took a look at is underneath ice. He's actually moving a little bit and he is perfectly fine. By gently tapping on the ice here, we can see the spotted turtle under it actually move. That's because, as I've said before, reptiles are in brumation and not really a true hibernation because they do display some degree of activity instead of being completely asleep. It's important to never break the ice over a brumating turtle though. The ice actually creates a buffer between them and the winter air above. They have way less capabilities of surviving freezing air for any period of time. And the cold water is where they're actually safe. Thanks to a reduction in their metabolic rate and very low energetic needs, these brumating aquatic turtles have very little oxygen requirements. Still, they are getting it through their cloacas, mouths, and skin, and it's just enough to keep them alive. Gas exchange is important in a pond, so I always keep at least one decent sized hole in the ice by running an aerator, as you can see here. But overall, it's truly amazing how turtles, especially those from northerly parts of the United States, can survive for months like this. There is no eating and no leaving the water unless it's an abnormally warm day, which might induce brief basking behavior. I find it amazing to see turtles moving under the ice, and even with our alligator snapping turtles, they will change positions throughout the course of winter here in their pond. Today, there's a thin layer of ice on their pond, but a quick dip with the GoPro reveals our big male chum, who has moved to a shallower area than he was just yesterday. Their ability to function, even at such minimal amounts, is really something, and once again, it goes against what so many of us always thought about reptiles. No, cold is not bad for some of them, particularly turtles, and many species actually require a winter's rest to at least some extent, in most cases. And if you're wondering what turtles do under the ice that might be in shallow areas, which could be in danger of freezing solid, well, they instinctively know how to respond to plummeting temperatures and move to deeper, safer areas to ensure that they're not in danger of freezing solid. Unbelievable. Anyway, amazing stuff, folks. I hope you enjoyed this quick entry, and I will see you in the next one.